Hello everyone, welcome to your weekend edition of Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for the weekend of Friday, April 19th through the 21st. We do have a full moon this weekend, Not well, tonight, Friday, um, full moon in Libra. I am still so sad that that reading that I did for the full moon in Libra on Instagram didn't get saved, but that is okay. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to focus this weekend reading on this full moon in Libra energy, okay? And if you hear some stuff going on in the background, it's just my roommates getting up and getting ready for the day. Okay, so... Yes. Keep in mind, guys, that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please go ahead and email me. My email is in the description box below. Also, these energies, uh, well, the, the messages are timeless. So I am focusing this a little bit on the full moon. But understand that the energies of the full moon aren't always, are, are, aren't just felt the day of. They're felt before and they're felt after. Okay, so this could be, this is a little more time, this one is a little more time specific, but mostly the rest of them are timeless. Okay? Okay. Excellent. So let's get started. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the weekend of Friday, April, 20, uh, April 19th through the 21st. And also, please uh, give us a bit of guidance in terms of this full moon in Libra on Friday, today, Friday the 19th. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys. Full moon and Libra energies. It's interesting because I saw, as I was channeling the energy, I saw a swirl of orange and purple energy. Um, orange could represent the sacral chakra. Purple represent, rep would represent the crown. Well... The third eye, this really feels like. Hmm. I mean, I guess if, depending on the shade, it could be either the crown or the third eye, but it's mostly third eye energies here. So sacral chakra energies and third eye energies, but also, also um, divine wisdom. Uh, so was divine wisdom and creativity. Um, now, Libra is a sign of balance and relationships, all kinds of relationships. So the reading that I did on Instagram was uh, bringing forward a message of this is a time to really be able to either to, to put the past to rest, um, whether that be through communicating with someone um, you know, making amends with someone or just coming to peace with, with a circumstance or a situation that may have happened internally, okay? You don't have to really communicate with the other people in order to come to make, to come to some sort of peace or to find peace, okay? Yeah. All right. So this full moon in Libra energies for the weekend. I'm going to give this one more shuffle. And then we will see what we've got. All right. Full moon in Libra, which is on Friday the 19th. But this is just going to be an energy for the weekend. Because I really do feel like, you know, many of us are going to still be feeling the effect somehow over the weekend. Okay, so let's see what we got. Woo. Oh, wow. Well, huh? 
The Ace of Wands flew out. Look at that. Full Moon Libra. Ooh. Okay. All right. Overall energy, we have Judgment. Okay. So, Judgment is definitely an energy of uh, resurrection, but you could also see that as a reconciliation here. Now, you do have the Ace of Wands that flew out, and I believe we have, yes, the Ace of Pentacles with that, okay? The King of Wands, the Universe, yes, and then we have some other cards here that fell face down. We have the Six of Wands, the Six of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Okay. Full Moon in Libra energy. Well, first of all, it's bringing a new start. You have the Ace of Wands and you have the Ace of Pentacles. The King of Wands, in this circumstance, I'm feeling more of the positive aspects of the King of Wands. Here, the King of Wands is representing stoicism. Okay, that's one thing I'm hearing. It's also representing confidence and um, desire, yes, but knowing what it is that you want. Okay. Now, coupled with the universe, the universe is one of the unique cards in this deck. And the universe represents, you know, the universe. <laughs> but everything that we've kind of learned here, I do want to get into it because we don't get that card often. So I just want to make sure I read it so I'm not... But what I, I mean, what I'm getting, we're going to read the definition in the book here, but what I'm getting from the card is that the universe is like, basically the universe is conspiring with you to, to bring this in. Okay. Um, where are we? 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 Here we go. Um, the universe, divine wisdom, moon child. Where are you? Oh, I passed it. I passed it. I passed it. Hold on, guys. So sorry. Do, do, do. There we go. Okay. So, some of the key words in the universe completion, ascension, clarity, success, and arrival. The universe represents the peak of a soulful journey when the stepping stones on your path join in brilliant completion. After all, that you, after all you have gleaned and built along the way, you can now look back on all of your accomplishments and take the time to celebrate and rejoice. This is the ultimate success and spiritual fulfillment that nourishes your heart beyond mere physical needs and limitations. This goes much deeper. You have become wiser softer and more awakened which delivers a newfound awareness of what you would ultimately like to do next you have worked through the trials and tribulations and have grown in resilience and strength becoming a powerful co-creator of strength uh, of i'm sorry becoming a powerful co-creator of your own story this dynamic energy replenishes your confidence and illuminates the future with your con with you with shimmering possibilities there is much to look forward to okay so yes that falls whoop, right in line with the energies of the King of Wands here. Okay. Judgment underneath the deck representing the ascension process. So all of this is really saying, especially with the Six of Wands and the Six of Swords down here, you know, you've really reached a new level. And we were talking about that yesterday. This is very passionate too. 
This is very passionate. Um, but it's not, you know, and here's where I guess more of the energies of the universe, what the universe's card is representing is coming, is bringing forward because it's not just like lustful passion. It's like exuberance. It's like understanding the deeper meaning behind some things or understanding how things manifest, um, understanding, definitely understanding why things have happened the way they have. Which is allowing you, which is allowing you to get back on the horse <laughs> without being sluggish about it really, without, you know, being on all autopilot. This is like being very conscious, very present, all cylinders firing, that kind of energy here with this King of Wands and, and, and the universe and judgment and the, the new beginning, you know, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. It could be bringing you a new job. It could be bringing you a new relationship. It could be bringing you a new creative project that leads to, you know, a, a lucrative, you know, financial situation. But this really has to do with all the work what is this, Three of Pentacles? No, it's the Three of Wands. Okay, that wanted to come come out, the Three of Wands. Um, the Three of Wands has been coming out lately, um, being on the right path, but actually going for it, okay? Instead of like, because the Three of Wands is like, could be waiting for your ships to come in. Well, the ship is here, so now, instead of waiting for them to get to the shore, why don't you go get a rowboat and get out to the ship? You know, that's, that's, and that's the energy that I'm getting with this King of Wands here, okay? Now, underneath, down here, we have the Six of Wands, the Six of Swords, but the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. And that's really interesting. I think the victory here for you is moving forward. You have two sixes, yes, with the Six of Wands and the Six of Swords. And both of those, well, a six is a healing energy. So this represent this is definitely representing healing and it's representing healing that has been quite successful. And I think, <laughs> oddly enough, your success comes in no longer working towards something. That's what I'm seeing with this Eight of Pentacles. It's like, But yeah, you could see this. You could see this as getting off the hamster wheel. The the karmic wheel. Because the energy that I'm getting of the, from the Eight of Pentacles is um, hard work, but over and over and over again. And not really getting the same result. Like So like the definition of, in, of insanity, right? Doing the same thing over and over again the same way expecting to get a different result. Now, that's not exactly what's going on here because especially if we were talking about, if we're talking about, you know, getting off this karmic hamster wheel that we've been talking about for about two weeks now, um, ultimately, you're not trying it the same way between lifetimes, if that makes sense. You're still going, trying to reach the same thing, but you're trying it different ways each time and it still isn't working, so... There's an energy of just, again, leaving the past behind and moving on to new endeavors, to new lessons, to new experiences. And that's actually, it's so crazy that this is all lining up like now. I mean, it's not crazy. It makes perfect sense. But to me it's like it's really kind of cool that you know all of this is lining up around this full moon in libra which is a time to balance out relationships so where things were really super imbalanced now you have a chance to really find greater balance in it that's awesome that's really really awesome Okay, so now we can get into the clarification. I honestly, I want to start by, I want to start with this Eight of Pentacles here. 
Let me clarify that first. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles first. One more shuffle. All right. So let's talk about this Eight of Pentacles because what I'm getting from that is, yeah, and Spirit just said it again, it's coming off, it's physically like coming off the karmic wheel. Um, not working towards, there's not putting any sort of effort into anything any longer. In, or into something, not anything, but something any longer. All right, let's see. What do we got here for this Eight of Pentacles in reverse, please, Spirit? Just some clarification. Just some, oof, there's the King of Wands again. The sun. Oh, that's beautiful. Underneath the deck is the fool. Yes, ma'am. Look at that. Starting a brand new cycle, taking a leap of faith, going in a new direction here. You got the sun. You got the king of wands. Yeah, you got the world and you got the star. All right. So this is basically clarifying this this whole row, but the focus was around the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, and then also you have the Knight of the Knight of Swords that has fallen out on the Ace of Wands, and that to me is just like full speed ahead, like almost like you're you're going forward so passionately, or you you have such a driven mindset. It's like like a bat out of hell, is how, <laughs> which. It, given certain some circumstances that we this could be referring to, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Not even gonna lie. <laughs> but here's the deal. Here is why someone decided to not work towards some sort of some particular situation in their lives. First and foremost, confidence understanding who you are and understanding what you want or at least having a greater uh, uh, enough of an understanding of what you want to finally move forward towards it <coughs> excuse me and uh, for some of you out there depending on the journey that you're on or how you resonate with this um, the fact that you have a greater understanding of what it is you want and what it is you don't want and how to go about getting that basically is was the one of the main goals of that lesson or that journey okay i'm just going to say one of because there could be many but ultimately healing was um well okay hold on you have the star and the sun so illumination came forward and healing happened now the star is also another representation of knowing what you want and going for it. But here it's a little bit different because with the star. Oh, and then also um, the situation closed out. The cycle finish, finished up with the world, okay? But with the star, um, you there is a sense of knowing what you want. You don't necessarily see it fully, okay? Yes, work on your visualizations. But the thing about the star is that you know, you're surrounded by darkness and you just have that one speck of light that's guiding you to where you want to go. And that's your heart's desire or your soul's desire, okay? That's quite awesome. And there's definitely an eagerness to move on, to, to move forward, to move into the next situation here with the Knight of Swords and, and the Ace of Wands. I do want to... Excuse me, I was yawning. I do want to... talk about this Ace of Wands and Ace of Pentacles now because this full moon energy, okay, um... Is, per is a perfect time to release in order to make space for something new, yes? And the judgment here is basically the energy of 
balancing something out, reconciling, um, receiving rewards or, or compensation, I guess you could say. There could be, if some of you have been dealing with a legal battle, there could be some sort of uh, financial um, compensation that comes from it. Maybe the judgment would fall in your favor there for that to happen. But let's talk about, let's go a little deeper into the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. What are these new starts that are coming through here or that space is essentially being made for during this full moon? Please, Spirit. What is this? Two of Pentacles, interesting. <laughs> the Ace of Wands again? <laughs> Goodness, that's hilarious. <laughs> Underneath the deck is the Magician. Okay. That's so funny. Wow, the Six of Swords again. Good Lord. The Ace of Wands. Oh, Justice. The Two of Swords, the Hierophant. The Four of Wands. The Unknown. And, oh, the Eight of Pentacles. That's really interesting. Okay, so here's that Libra energy, justice, okay? Um, this is very interesting. Um, give me a second, guys. I got to see. Let me, let me just work this out a little bit here because it's like... Okay, okay, so let's start here. Two of Swords and the Hierophant, all right? The Hierophant talks about teaching and learning. Um, it talks about your higher self. It talks about in, uh, 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 a commitment, marriage maybe, and you do have the Four of Wands here. So What I'm getting with the Hierophant and the Two of Swords is that there was, there was, there was learning, there were teachings, there was information that came through from your higher self and awareness and understanding that came through from your higher self that helped you break out of some sort of indecision. Um, and if we're talking about a soulmate, like a, 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 a deep soulmate relationship, maybe even a twin flame relationship, twin flame dynamic it was the, the the two of swords was the energy that kind of trapped you up for a long time but the hierophant is the lessons that were learned throughout uh, indoctrination basically um but i don't mean that in a bad way because basically that is coming from your soul your you know from the universe this is you know what i mean so it cleared away, there was learning here that cleared away some sort of indecision. There was a lot of work that was done here. Two of pentacles, eight of pentacles. But moving forward, there's a lot of work that you're going to be doing to maintain your balance. Yes, that's true. But you have a greater sense of what that balance is now. So this is why now the Eight of Pentacles is upright, because this is the work you're going to want to do. That's the type of work you want to engage in. Maintaining your balance, okay? And the previous situation was heavily imbalanced. You have the Ace of Wands, Justice, with the Six of Swords. So... This full moon in Libra energy is bringing justice into your life. It's bringing balance into your life. It's bringing harmony into your life. Okay? It's bringing you the balance to move on with inspiration. Ace of Wands here. And then finally, you have the Four of Wands with the Unknown card. It really could be bringing in some sort of relationship, especially with the Hierophant here. It could be coupled with the Four of Wands. You know, it could be bringing a commitment, a marriage, a long-term relationship, something like that. But 
and, and what the universe is saying is we're not going to tell you how it's going to happen with the unknown card here. We're absolutely not going to tell you. And many of us really should be in the place of, of having learned that you don't really need to know. Just keep your vibrational alignment. That's literally the only thing you have to do. Stay in vibrational alignment and take action from that place of alignment. Don't worry about the circumstances. Let the universe handle that. But you would have a relationship coming to you or a, a, a partnership, a soulmate bond, a life partner or whatever, because you're in alignment with that and you... What's the word I'm looking for? You're in alignment with that and you have that relationship with yourself. Okay. Uh, I just saw 555 five, five on the counter. And thus, you are the one manifesting it with the magician. That's awesome, guys. Okay. Great. This is really beautiful energy, you guys. So I'm going to close the reading here with the Crystal Mandala deck. All right. Let's see what we've got. shuffle and then we'll see what we've got for today for the weekend actually best message please spirit for this weekend edition uh, and this full moon in Libra here and the energy oh, card number 34 All right, so this is Ascended Master Merlin and Mystic Merlinite. Read the energy. We bring you the blessing of reading the energy. We affirm that you have the ability to read energy accurately, and we encourage you to apply your gifts. You don't have to be in control of the inflow of divine information. When a message or insight comes to you naturally, this is best. Simply being open and receptive as you intend to read the energy of the person, place, or situation at hand is enough. Whether you have been reading energetically for years or are just beginning your journey in interpreting energetic information, we are here to assist you in becoming confident and trusting in your own perceptive abilities. And, I mean, in all honesty, being able to read the energy is really what has helped many of us break free from some toxic patterns because now we can see it clearer. Now it's more than just the smoke and mirrors or the um, deception that certain people would put forth in order to keep you on that wheel. I mean, not only would... Not only would time... Dealing, dealing with the situation over and over again eventually teach you, like, wait, something's wrong here. But the fact that you were able to even pick up on certain things in the beginning or to begin with that then allowed you or influenced you to go deeper and deeper and understand the situation from a deeper and deeper level and thus find your own healing in it, the star, that would that was you reading the energy being able to say to make a judgment call judgment uh 
to make a judgment call outside the realm of physical 3D perception. And that is beautiful. So take that with you and run with it, honey. <laughs> All right, guys, there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, I hope you guys have a great weekend and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee Monday morning. Yeah. Take care. Bye.